View model properties can be used as state machine conditions. If you are familiar with drive and inputs in drive, view model properties can be used exactly the same way as inputs can be used, but they offer a larger set of possibilities. In this case, I'm going to start comparing a view model property of type number to a number. So I'm going to set my left hand side of the comparison to the property number one, I'm going to compare it to the value zero. I'm going to play the state machine and it stays on timeline one, it's not transitioning to timeline two. The reason for that is that the value of number one here is four and it's getting compared to zero and they have to be equal to transition to timeline two. If I change the number to zero now, it does transition to timeline two. Same thing can be done with strings. So now I'm going to use a string instead of a number and I'm going to compare it to a value called pass. The initial value of string one is test. So if I play the state machine, it still won't transition to timeline two. If I change the text to pass, now it transitions to timeline two. I could also have a different type of, com of comparison and instead of comparing whether they are equal, I'm going to compare whether they are different. And since I'm comparing the string test to the string pass and they are not equal, it also transitions to timeline two. The next thing I can do is instead of comparing a property to a value, is compare a property to another property of the same view model or from another view model. In this case, I'm going to compare two properties that belong to the same view model. So now I'm going to compare on the left hand side number one and I'm going to compare it to number two on the right hand side. I'm going to play again the state machine. Since value four and zero are not, are, not, are not equal, the transition doesn't move to timeline two. If I set number two to four, now it transitions to timeline two. The next thing I can do is use converters. And I can use converters on the left hand side, on the right hand side, or on both sides of my comparison. So I'm going to create a converter of type numeric and this converter is going to multiply by two. I'm going to name it multiply by two and I'm going to apply it to the left hand side of my comparison. So now the way of reading this is number one multiplied by two has to be equal to number two. I'm going to play the state machine, I'm going to see the values. Number one is four, number two is zero. I'm going to change number two to 10. It still doesn't transition. But now if I change number one to five, it transitions to timeline two, since five multiplied by two equals 10. I can do the same by applying another converter. I'm going to call this divide by two and it's going to divide by two. And now I'm going to apply it on the right hand side. So in this case, I'm going to rename this to divide by two. So in this case, I'm comparing number one multiplied by two to number two divided by two. So let's start with other values. I'm going to start with eight in number two and with four in number one. I play and it still doesn't transition to timeline two. That's because Number one, four multiplied by two is eight, but number two, eight divided by two is four. So four and eight are not the same. If I change eight to 16, now it transitions to timeline two because both sides equal, are equal. Finally, I'm gonna compare different types of properties. So I'm gonna add a new converter called string, convert to string, and I'm gonna set on the left-hand side number one again. On the right hand side, I'm going to compare it to string. And this is indicating that this comparison is not valid because I'm comparing a number to a string. And in order for conditions to work, both sides of the comparison have to be of the same type. What I can do is change the converter to convert to string and now it's valid. So now I'm comparing a number to a string. Let's see what are the values, initial values for each one of these. Number is four and string is test. So if I play the state machine, it will not transition to timeline two. If 
but if I change my string to 4, now it does transition to timeline 2. And finally, what I'm going to do is I'm use some properties that be configured on the converter. I'm going to round the decimals of my number when it gets converted to a string to zero. So now if I start with a number of 1.111 and I'm going to compare it to 2, for example, I play the state machine, it still doesn't transition. But if I change my string value to 1, it's going to transition to timeline 2 because it's comparing 1.11 converted to a string with the decimals removed, rounded to zero decimals, and it's going to compare it to a string of value 1. I'm going to do the same, round it to one decimal, change the number, starts with 1.11, string starts with 2, now if I start with string 1, it's not going to work, it's going to stay at the timeline 1. But if I change my string to 1.1, because it's rounded to one decimal, the left-hand side, 1.11, rounded to 1.1, equals the right-hand side, string 